Good morning and, well, whatever time of day it is for you. It's morning for me. It's 9 a.m. It's Friday and you're watching this on a Sunday and I'm filming this two days prior. I've been very bad (laughs) at not procrastinating this week. Honestly, it's the months of January, February, I guess December, where it's really cold out in my garage to film. So I procrastinate and it's been rainy. But anyways, we're back and I'm excited to do another one of these. I've I've uh, done quite a few of these before where you all send me in, you know, items you're thinking of purchasing for your home or design questions or just stuff that you don't know if you should purchase or not. I, yeah, you know, you get the gist. So we're going to hang out and see what people are doing to their homes. A lot of you actually sent mood boards, which is pretty cool. But you know I like these videos because you can discover new things, new stuff, new stores. <laughs> it's all about learning over here on this channel. If you follow me on Instagram, this is where I announce these things and then you just DM me photos. It's pretty simple. All right, let's 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 get started. <laughs> A lot of you sent in ruggable rugs, which I thought we could talk about in general because would I personally own a ruggable rug? No, but I have recommended them to clients or friends because I do think they look okay and I think they've come out with a lot of styles that are actually pretty pleasing. Kate actually works a lot with Ruggable. She's a prop stylist for Ruggable. And she recently designed the, actually the owner of Ruggable, one of the owners of Ruggable's home, homes. Yeah. She designed her home or helped her interior decorate it. And I was looking at the photos that she recently posted and the Ruggable rugs do look really good. So it definitely changed my mind a little on them. Again, would I, would I own a Ruggable rug? No. But they do look good. So for those who sent over ruggable rugs, here are some of my favorites that that they have online right now. I'm not opposed to them, especially if you need a really large rug. They're pretty affordable. They are thin, though, and you definitely need a pretty thick pad underneath if you're going to get one. This person was wondering what type of window treatments she should do on these on these really nice windows. I actually love all of the molding and the wood that is around the window. So I wouldn't necessarily cover it up with curtains because it's so thick and I honestly think it's very pretty. So I would just stick some nice simple blinds right in the middle. I wouldn't go over the molding. I would go in the window because I I just think it's pretty. I don't think you need curtains, just some very simple blinds. Sometimes you all send me items that you're thinking of thrifting and this one I would just say is immediately a no from me if I'm going to smash or pass <laughs> I'm gonna smash I mean pass I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on this one I like this little stool of course I like this little stool but for that price mm, no I would pass on that it's cool though if only we had endless amounts of money to spend you know 700 dollars on a tiny little stool. I've never really been into the mushroom lamps. I've never really been into that style, but I like I do like that. And I like how it's chrome and I like how it reflects the whole room. I think it's an interesting piece. But again, price-wise, no. We love a lumbar pillow. We love a striped lumbar pillow. So I do like this. I think it's cute. I think there's so many Killam pillow covers that you can buy on Etsy if that's the route you want to go in. Speaking of pillows, actually, we're doing one more launch of pillows for Was in uh, mm, end of March, early April. We are still doing shower curtains. I'm also partnering with this vintage shop. We're coming out with a table linen series. There's a lot that I'm working on, and I realize it's going to take a bit to get all this in production, so decided to do one more round of pillows in the meantime that are coming out in like a month or two. Uh, No. That's all I got. Not only is it pink, which uh, I'm trying to get into pink more, so don't always listen to me when I next pink, you know? Take it with a grain of salt. One day, next year, maybe I'm obsessed with pink. The crystal, it just looks like like this icy princess queen ice princess. It's an, it's an ice princess lamp. 
No. Okay, moving on. This one is confusing. Is that, is the base made of paper? I like the shape of this lamp. I don't understand what the base is. I don't know. I don't, I don't dislike it. It's expensive though. A lot of people sending me expensive stuff in this one. I also would say no to this one. I don't love lampshades like that. I don't know why I'm very against the like foldy lampshade, maybe because it got a little too trendy, but I don't know. Even, even when this trend passes, I don't think I'd be really into that type of lampshade. And the base is, it's okay. I feel like if you're going to want like a fun, like florally pattern, there's better things out there. Love this mirror. Expensive as shit though. <laughs> I actually need a little mirror for above my desk. If anyone finds me a cute little mirror off Etsy for above my desk, I will, what, what, what could I do in return? I will, uh, I'll do something for you of your request. Maybe I'll send you a free was bag. But if you find me a cute little mirror like this, or I don't know what, what style I want yet. I think it needs something more modern or Noel or Herman Miller type vibe for the for the mirror. Or yes, the mirror. All right, moving on. Get the get that mirror. It's cute. And if you find me a mirror, I'll I'll do something for you. <laughs> I don't know what. I think this little bowl is super cute. What is this site? Shop, shop Rira. Love all these bowls. Perfect little gift. How much are they? Uh huh. <laughs> okay. So cute though. But yeah, expensive. I think these lamps are really cool. I love the color of them. If you watched my video on this is how your home can cure your depression, I talk about entering in lamps like this, this color, because I think entering that orangey glow from the sun uh, can boost your mood. So I do like them. So this person is wondering if they should paint these cabinets. And while normally I would say you know, keep the natural wood, which I do think looks nice. That wood isn't awful, but because it's such a little cabinet space, I think why not have fun and paint them? But if you own this place, this is a really good opportunity to actually just knock down that upper cabinet. And not that you necessarily have to have open shelving, but you could buy a really cool piece that replaces that upper cabinet that goes along the full length of that wall. I think that could look really good. Again, no to the scalloped lamp. And also the base of that lamp, that pink styled glass that was popular at a point, I don't love also. But I actually really like the little tiny lamp next to it. The little bamboo guy. I would get I would get that one. I love the submission because they they really did their research on fabrics and are asking me to choose which one they should re-upholster their sofa in their couch skin <laughs> haven't heard that one before but okay mm, looking at it damn okay I think I could eliminate C I think C and A could be eliminated for some reason those oranges are a little too blush for me so I'm going to eliminate C and A uh maybe B I don't know A actually A is good I like all of your selections to be honest I think you really couldn't go wrong. There's a lot of gray in this apartment, and so maybe E and D could help warm warm it up. I do like B a lot, but maybe we eliminate that right side and go for, oh my God, I don't know, maybe D or B. Should I phone a friend? Phoning a friend. Let's see what Kate would say. Which one? <laughs> okay, while we wait for Kate's answer, let's move on to this cabinet which she said she doesn't want to get rid of this cabinet. She needs to make it work. She already bought it. And, you know, I don't think it's awful. I think the main thing you can do is sand it down. Just bring it back to a wood color or paint it anything but white. Right now it's looking pretty shabby chic. I would bring it back to its natural wood color. Kind of an annoying project, but I think that would look a lot better. Okay, Kate has given her answer. She said immediately she thought E for this fabric, which I did narrow it down to D and E. I guess, but now she's thinking B. <laughs> I don't know. E E or B or D. Oh, we're no help. <laughs> Houseplant. You know the brand Houseplant. It's by uh, Seth Rogen, his like pot focused pottery company. And I actually bought this uh, standing ashtray for my brother for his birthday. He doesn't even really smoke that much <laughs> or does he even smoke? I guess maybe a little, but I think a standing ashtray is really cool to have in 
your living room. So I I do vote yes to this. But you also can find really cool standing ashtrays off of Etsy if you really want one. I think this style sofa is so cool. I love the metal bars and it's just a very sleek sofa. This person said that she lives in a pretty small apartment. So I think this would be the perfect fit. I would test it to make sure it's comfy. Does it bend down? I don't think it does to be a bed, but I would vote yes on this. I don't know the price, but I, I love these sofas. Cool find. I think this mood board is really cool. I think there are a few touches in here that you could do to kind of elevate it in my opinion because it feels on the borderline of you know like a magnolia style with some really cool touches for example I love the little bench the light the two chairs are great I think replacing the dresser with something less classic and maybe more sleek or modern I think it just needs some more modern touches but this whole direction is great love that people are sending me their mood boards I personally love this armoire because I like an armoire or a wardrobe cabinet. I like a big piece of furniture, so yes, I would get this. But it does say it's from First Dibs, so I am assuming it's going to be pricey. But these types of pieces are, are pricey because they're big. So she's wondering if this cabinet would look good on this wall. And her friends are saying this cabinet feels too kitchen. But I don't necessarily think it would have to go in a kitchen. I don't know if I necessarily love this piece specifically because it's kind of country and the scallop isn't really my, my style. But if you did put it there and decorate it with some cool glassware and make it more of like a bar cabinet, I do think it would look really good. I love a little nook office space, especially this one surrounded by windows. How ideal would that be to work there and they have a pretty good view but anyways they want to paint this room and if you're not subscribed to my newsletter every week every Friday my newsletter comes out and there is a section on there called Kate's paint color of the week and she suggests a new paint color every Friday so you can add it to your list and she does a lot of great research on these paints and even tests them has samples and so if I were you <laughs> Um, I mean, you could do any, any color in this room. I feel like why not go bold because it's small and even paint the ceiling. I mean, the main color suggestion is always chilled wine, but Kate has some great blues. This red color is really cool. She has some just simple colors as well. So any of these I think would work. Make sure to subscribe to the newsletter link down below if you want to see the paint color of the week every week and other things. Facebook marketplace finds, stuff I talk about, personal personal tidbits from my life. Okay, so this bathroom is clearly under construction and she was wondering what she should do with the floor tile and the wall tile. And listen, I think you should save both of those. I love both those tiles. I think what you could do with the floor tile is just regrout it if this is salvageable because I understand sometimes things are just too ruined to get rid of but I love this bathroom try to save that try to save that tile I don't know if you have heard of this company tulip it's a pretty honestly smart idea it's basically this like rice paper or cloth canvas fabric light that you kind of just stick on over your boob light genius honestly genius idea I I don't dislike them I think it's such a smart idea and I think the designs are really nice these are my two favorites if you're going to get a tulip lampshade would I personally get one I have talked about how easy it is to replace a light fixture even if you're renting you can replace your boob light very easy through task rabbit you can buy a light have it switched out I get it. That's like a little bit more effort, but it's not as much effort as you think. So no, I wouldn't get a tulip because if I had an ugly boob light, I would just replace it with an actual light instead of covering it. But this is a really good solution. Otherwise, if you don't want to go through that hassle, I do like them. I do. I like, I like this company and I support. <laughs> They're probably making a shit ton of money also. Great idea. Should have, should have thought of that myself. I will say no to this wallpaper, unfortunately. Peel and stick, uh, no. Anything that's kind of watercolory is not really my vibe. I mean, it kind of is giving 
oil painting in a way, but no, nix, nix that. What do I think about the Art Easel TV stands? I don't know how I feel about these. I don't love them. Would I, would I have one? I'm, I'm trying to give my opinion overall because me having something specifically, I don't know, I'm very particular. I, I wouldn't have an easel art frame, but maybe, I don't know. It does look, no, I probably would just mount this and get a cool cabinet with it. You know, when people put a TV on an actual art easel, that's where I'm, I'm kind of LOL. Uh, it's too, it's too like when one thing means another, like your TV looking like a piece of art. No, mm, just put it on a cabinet or in a cabinet is the most ideal. TV in a cabinet is the ultimate solution, in my opinion. Really into these IKEA products. I don't know if they're sold in the US or not, but that chair is really cool. I don't know if I love that fabric specifically, the green, but that style of chair I'm so into. Why does it look so short? But anyways, yes. I also think this table is nice, maybe more so in white. It gives that, you know, cartel, Herman Miller design within reach kind of vibe, but it's Ikea. So yes, this little stool is cute, but I feel like the leather is going to be just bad and faux. And I don't know, I think a little stool, that's like the most fun type of product to, to thrift or antique. A little, a little stool. <laughs> this person is redoing their bathroom and I'm like, why? That's a stunning bathroom. New tile on the floor. I, I actually really love that tile. I think a black and white simple tile from Home Depot you just can't go wrong with. If you're redoing your bathroom on a budget and you can't afford some like unique tile, the black and white, small black and white Home Depot tile like that. I mean, that looks a little nicer than Home Depot. I like that. I, th I, I think you should keep this bathroom all the same. You could, if anything, you could just paint it, but I actually like it. This is fresh. I like a clean bathroom. This 3D boat art I'm kind of into. She sent it to me and was like, I bought this or I thrifted this and now I'm unsure. And I'm, I'm honestly kind of into it. I think that could look good in like a little kid's room or somewhere like random, like above your toilet. I kind of like it. The wood backing is cool. The 3D, I, I don't know. I'm kind of into it. Kind of, kind of into it. A rug in the family room, a rug in the dining room doesn't feel necessary to me. Just have a rug in the family room. You don't need a rug under your dining table, especially when they're this close together. I get sometimes it makes sense to have a rug under the dining table, but but I don't think you need it in this space. That's just too close together. Also, matching rugs, it's just too much. So I would just eliminate the the one under under the dining table. <laughs> when I first saw these, I immediately was like, no, no, why? But then I saw this yellow one and I was like, oh, she's actually kind of cute. I kind of like her. I'm into this color, this yellow color I'm really into and it reminds me of Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Don't know why, but you know, like a yellowy color is cute. So sure, get get the little ice cream little guy. Another mood board that I'm really into. I really like this mood board. I think the cabinets are super cool. I think that's a rug. The entryway table, that color is so good. I'm actually working on a project right now where we're going to paint a bunch of items that color. Actually, I'm gonna screenshot this. We're about to paint a bunch of cabinets that color for a podcast set that Kate and I are designing. We're actually working on two podcast sets right now because while I'm a YouTuber, I'm also a prop style production designer. I work on, on sets and I've cut back on those projects a lot since YouTube has been pretty nice for me and my little company was, but I still take on these projects when, when they're fun and yeah, we're painting a bunch of cabinets that color. Okay, anyways, yeah, love this mood board. Fun job, great job. If I had to pick one of these rugs out of all of them, I think I would pick maybe the yellow, left yellow one or the middle brown grid type one. The ones on the bottom are just more plain, which I guess it depends on the space. The green one is too, it's like the wrong color green for me. So I guess top middle. Sure. Oh, and there's a little dog. I think she wanted the rug to blend in with his fur because he shed. So yeah, top middle. <laughs> I love when dogs do that though, when they sploof. Is that called sploofing? Splooting? Mm, little dog. I think this chair is cool. I love the shape of it and I actually don't dislike the fabric. Actually, 
This fabric reminds me of, you know, how I've talked about in the past of being into bus seats, uh, like the fabric that you find on a seat on a on a bus or a train or whatever. I found this new account. Hold on. It's called I Don't Give a Seat on Instagram. You should go follow them where they kind of display an archive of really cool fabric patterns that are found on buses and trains. Very cool account. And this like kind of reminded me of it in a way, just like the material, like the shininess. But yeah, go follow I Don't Give a Seat if you like that type of inspiration. And I do. So I followed it. <laughs> Again, another mood board that I'm really into. Really cool lighting, really cool mix of colors. This is a really good example of how to mix color in a way that doesn't feel overwhelming. You know, like little pops of red. Like this, she pretty much has every color in here somehow. It is possible. But I love the little pop of red in the frame. I'm into it. Into this mood board. Like I like seeing people's mood boards, which maybe I should do a whole video of people sending me their mood boards for rooms that they're decorating because it's so helpful. Also, speaking of this pop of red, there's this viral thing on TikTok of saying adding in one piece of red to a room makes it cool. It's like the red theory. And I feel like I've been I feel like I've been talking about that, you know? A touch of neon, a touch of red automatically makes your place look cooler. Okay. Oh. Okay. It's like, am I, am I good? My friend Marie was asking me about her office. She wants to redo it because she works from home. And she wasn't sure if she should paint the trim or paint the walls or both or what. And I think at the end when she tested it on the AI <laughs> painting tool, which I didn't even know existed. And I want to do a whole video on like AI transformations. And she tested the green that is in my... Uh, bedroom in her office and I do think it looks pretty good but it's hard for me to say to paint all the trim I think if there was hardwood I would say definitely paint it but because there's carpet I don't know actually let me know your opinions on this on this room because I was a little stumped of what she should do I think this coffee table is cool but I think it could end up looking a little messy when you have all the things in it I do think it's cool though it's an interesting idea but it, it could end up looking messy. So maybe, maybe not. What are your thoughts on art on the ground? I am curious to know, do we like that? I, I do have a piece of art on the ground in my little fireplace. I do think it looks good in certain areas. I think right there, you could even hang it just right there. Just hang it. Like I like a low hanging piece of art. Just hang it right there. But I, I don't mind it on the ground, but I do think you should hang it. But in that exact spot. I like this little red cabinet. I like a little locker room vibe, you know, like these. These are Herman Miller, uh, like, office cabinets from I got from, like, a li liquidation sale of an office. I like a, a little locker moment. Not a ton, but a little one. Like this guy. He's cute. I also like this sofa, but I would get it reupholstered. I love the wood outline arms, whatever. I like that the color and the cushions are just weird. So I would just have it reupholstered. I like these stools a lot. Yes, these are classic. I love this style of wood too. And this tone of wood I'm very into. Like this, it's not like a white birch. Like a, it's like a, I don't know. I don't know how to describe this wood, but I'm very, very into it. It's my favorite wood right now. If you want to know my favorite wood, it's this. Thank you. I think this light fixture is cool. I like it. I think it's interesting and different and it's cool and I like it and I think you should get it. <laughs> this peel and stick wallpaper is super interesting. It looks like it's like an outdated tile. So I don't know if I necessarily would get this peel and stick, but this uh, Aztec home, I feel like has some really cool peel and stick. Well, maybe not. No, they do. I mean, this is interesting. And this is why we do these videos to find out these companies. But no, I wouldn't get, I wouldn't get that one. <laughs> this little stool is cool. I'm really into this creamy color that people use on, what is this, uh, acrylic? Is this acrylic? Plastic. I think it's just, I think it's just high quality plastic. I, I don't know if you would sit on it. It doesn't really necessarily look like you could sit on this thing, but it's cool. Honestly, I would use it as like a little side table. Oh, what is this? 
What is this? It says stool, but I don't know. It's cool. I think it's a cool piece. I just, I, I don't think you can sit on this. I don't think this is a stool. But yeah, get it. Why not? I mean, 150 for a stool you can't sit on. Hey, I normally wouldn't select a glass coffee table, but I do really like this piece. I think it's interesting and I like the wood legs that you can see underneath and I like it. So thank you all for watching. This was kind of long. I feel, There's so many more submissions I could go through if we like this to even be longer. I don't know. I've been posting longer form content. I've decided I really enjoy long content. I don't like short content. I've been dabbling with trying to do you know, some short term content like YouTube shorts or Instagram reels. And I just, I don't like short term, short form content. I don't like making it. I don't really like posting it. I don't think I can show my personality or my creativity in 30 seconds. It's just not my style. That's why I'm on YouTube. Um, why did I, why was I talking about that? Oh, because this is a long video. Do we like the videos long? Is 30 minutes good? I think I've asked this before. It's fine. Now I'm going to go to Sight Glass to edit this because it's Friday and I'm posting this in two days and I've really procrastinated away my life this week. I need it to get warmer out. I work so much better when it's warm. I think that's because I work in a garage. But honestly, when it gets too hot, I don't want to work out in the garage either. So it really just has to be a specific temperature if I want to film out here. Maybe this is why I eventually need an office. Or I just change up my content to things where we're not sitting in here, which, again, I do have a home update next week. And then I am working on redoing my friend Basma's bedroom for a full video, and I'm very excited for it. And I think you're all going to really like it. I'm also planning a few more travel excursions, kind of like the one we did in Waco, if you haven't watched my Waco video, we went to Waco, Texas, and I basically was just tipsy. <laughs> it was a good time. So planning more videos like that. I'm rambling. It's time for my pre-made <laughs> salad because that's what I do uh, nowadays for lunch so I don't have to cook. All right. That's it. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you want to submit for next time, follow me at Wasselpa. That's all I got. Goodbye. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Bye. <laughs>